The impossible engineering that stole a sunken Soviet submarine from the ocean floor began in total secrecy. It was 1968, the height of the Cold War. The Soviet K-129, a nuclear-armed submarine, vanished in the Pacific Ocean. The Soviet fleet searched for months but found nothing. They had lost their most dangerous weapon. But the US Navy had heard something. Their secret underwater sound network, SOSIS, recorded the sub's catastrophic implosion. The US submarine Halibut found the wreck. It was resting three miles down at a depth of 16,000 feet. This was an intelligence gold mine. Inside that wreck were nuclear warheads, code books, and priceless Soviet secrets. The CIA was given the mission, retrieve the submarine. The operation was codenamed Project Azorian. The challenge was monumental. No one had ever attempted a lift from such a depth. It was considered technologically impossible. The CIA needed a ship that did not exist, so they built one. But first, they needed a cover story. The world's most eccentric billionaire, Howard Hughes, agreed to help. The public was told he was building a revolutionary ship for deep sea mining. The ship was named the Hughes Glomar Explorer. This cover story explained why a ship would sit in one spot for months. But the Glomar Explorer was a lie. It was a $350 million dollar piece of impossible engineering. It was not designed to mine the ocean floor. It was designed to swallow a submarine. Hidden in its hull was a massive, six-story tall capture device. It was a giant mechanical claw, codenamed Clementine. The ship also had a moon pool, a giant hole in its hull. This allowed the claw to lift the entire submarine inside the ship. This would shield the operation from Soviet spy satellites. In 1974, the Glomar arrived at the wreck site. The giant claw descended for over eight hours. It reached the crushing darkness of the ocean floor. It successfully grabbed the K-129. The slow, terrifying lift began. For days, the crew watched as the sub was winched up, mile by mile. They were succeeding. The impossible was happening. Then, two miles up, disaster struck. The corroded hull of the K-129 could not take the stress. A catastrophic failure occurred. The claw's tines broke. The main section of the submarine, the part with the missiles and code room, tore away. It fell back into the abyss, lost forever. Only a 38-foot forward section was recovered. It contained the bodies of six Soviet sailors who were given a formal burial at sea. The grand prize was gone, but the engineering itself was a marvel. For a brief, shining moment, the CIA had done the impossible. They had built a machine to steal a secret from the deepest part of the ocean. 